How's it going guys, it's Ryan here, and welcome to my Corporal Beast in-depth solo guide. Uh, a quick disclaimer, solo in corp isn't for everyone, and the recommended stats are quite high in this video, but they are pretty much needed to pull off uh, solo corp. Uh, if you don't have those stats, you might want to either get those stats or just consider killing the Corporal Beast uh, in a larger group. It works a lot better in a large team, it's a lot easier. Uh, even a two or three man's a lot easier. So anyway guys, I'm gonna jump right in and hopefully you enjoy the video. Okay, so to start off, Corp is level 210, has 100,000 life points, attacks with magic and melee, has a max hit of 4,750 approximately with magic, and approximately 2,250 with melee. Its weakness is actually spears. Now into the requirements, the only actual requirement is the Summer's End quest, and there's also one quest before that that's a prerequisite to Summer's End, and once you've done those, you can fight the Corporal Beast. Uh, now, the recommendations to solo Corp, uh, you're going to want 90 plus attack, defense, and strength, assuming you're using melee, and also magic. The reason I say magic is even if you're not using mage, your magic level accounts towards your magic defense, so that's why the magic's there. Uh, next, you're going to want to have level 95 plus prayer for the ancient curses, and also overloads are insanely helpful because the Corp has some attacks that lower your stats, so 91 plus her blur with a boost, is also recommended. Now into the types of attacks, the corp has a stomp attack that deals between 3000 and 5250 damage. So basically don't get stomped, it's very easy to dodge, basically don't stand underneath the corp and you won't get stomped. Next there's a single magic attack which is just a ball of white magic that can hit you for up to 4750 damage. There's a magic multi-combat attack that hits around a max of 400 each time, and it's basically a claw that hits the ground and kind of explodes, and you get hit a bunch of times for area damage. Uh, so those two attacks are why you're going to be praying, protect from magic, or deflect magic the entire time. Uh, there's also a melee attack that hits a max of 2,250 damage. Uh, the last special attack is the Nom 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 attack. Basically, it eats your summoning familiar and heals itself with your summoning familiar, so pretty much don't bring a summoning familiar. Uh, the last attack is the Dark Energy Core. Uh, so the core will arrive at some point during the kill, uh, somewhere between 20,000 health remaining and 80,000 health remaining, and it will basically run around and try to stand under you. And it will hit you very, very rapidly for low hits of 400 to 600 that really add up, but also its hits heal the corp at a 1 to 1 ratio. So if you get hit a 400, uh, the corp gets healed a 400. So pretty much you have to dodge the core. If you kill it, it will just respawn, so I will show you how to dodge the core right about now. Okay, so pretty much the core has a attack range of sort of one square radius around the square it's standing on. So basically what you want to do is you want to run two squares and then use one ability and then run two squares back and forth. And that way you're not moving around too much on your screen, but you are still dodging all of the core's attacks. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward, just continually do this and you should be alright. Uh, for abilities that take longer like Assault, you're not going to be able to complete the whole ability, so you're just going to use one or two hits with Assault, and then you're going to, I guess, run away. Okay, so now into the methods. Unless you use a Spear, you'll only deal half damage, but still, Seismics are probably your best bet. Obviously, most people don't have Seismics. I don't have Seismics. Um, and if not, you can use a Vestas Spear, but it degrades, and then after that, the first practical options are the Zamorakian Spear, and that's also tied with the Drygords and Ascensions. Now, a quick note, this is totally opinion-based. I prefer the Zamorakian Spear, but I know a lot of people uh, with the same stats and gear as me who prefer the Drygores or the Ascensions. It's just trial and error. Try them out if you have them, and you'll figure out which one you prefer. And then lastly, I've got the Death Lotus Darts, which are strongly not recommended. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble trying to get a kill with them. Uh, so now, into the armor, I'd strongly recommend using Ports Gear, uh, you can buy it off the G, and it's relatively inexpensive for how long it lasts, and that's just the breakdown of what combat style you're using and what pieces of Ports Gear you're gonna wanna be, you're gonna wanna be using. Uh, so now, into the non-Ports Gear, if you've got level 90 power armor, it's very expensive, but if you've got it, that's better than the Ports Gear, and then also if you've got a next set, you can use that too, but it's probably a, a little bit worse than the ports gear if you're just starting out because the goal is to stay alive. Um, now for boots and gloves and things, it's what you'd normally use as the most protective boots and gloves you have, so the highest level stuff. And yeah, into the inventory setup. Uh, so you're gonna want your 
food of choice, your games, necklace, and your potions, and I will show you that and how to get there right about now. Okay, so as you can see right here, I am now geared up for my corpse solo. Uh, so in my invent, you see I have dreadnoughts right here. You don't really need these. If you don't have them, don't stress about it, but they were recently buffed, and they're somewhat okay, so if you have them, you may as well take them. I generally forget to actually deploy them during the kill, but I'll bring them anyway. Um, next, I've got my overload and my prayer renewal, and I've got my game necklace to get there. Now, my food of choice is shark because it's pretty cheap, but if you try it out with shark and you actually can't get the kills, uh, I would try using rocktail or rocktail soup. That's how I started, and then now that I'm a little better than I was, I can use shark and still get the kills. Uh, so that's just a cash saving sort of tip. Uh, so as you can see, I've got the Zamorakian Spear. I'm going to be testing out that method first, and then I'll try a ranged method. Uh, but yeah, that is about it. You'll notice I don't have any restore super restore potions. You'll need one Fordo super restore potion if you're with the prayer renewal, if you're doing a kill without the penance aura. But I would strongly recommend the penance aura because you don't actually need any sort of prayer potion at all. So yeah, that is the gearing. Okay, so this is how you're going to get there. So from any bank, basically you've got the games necklace, you're going to rub that games necklace, and you're going to select Corporal Beast. Um, now, the Corporal Beast, if you were to run to the Corporal Beast lair, it's actually in level 45 wilderness, so you probably wouldn't want to do that. So yeah, just stick to the games necklace. Now, from this point, you're just going to run through these caverns. It's hard to get lost in here because there's really only, only one way you can go. But yeah, just go as I go. And the reason I'm not speeding up this clip is because I'm pretty much there. Uh, so banking is quite quick, which is good because obviously, especially when you're starting out, you're only going to be getting one kill per trip, but it doesn't matter because every trip is only two minutes apart uh, with the banking. So as you can see, I am here. I don't know if this world's free, but I will peek into the actual corp cave and I will see. Yep, so this world's free. All right. Uh, so I am going to record the first kill. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little walkthrough of some kills, uh, first off with the Zamorakian Spear, and then second with the Death Photo Starts, and you'll see why I said it was very, very not recommended. Okay, so as you can see, I am potting up, I am putting on my appropriate prayers, i.e. Deflect from Magic, Turmoil, and Protect Item, and I am running through at the Corpse. So the first good portion of the kill is quite normal, I'm just using my abilities, and just a... I figure this is probably a good time to go over what abilities are important to use and good to use. Uh, first off, Assault is great, it is a lot better than Hurricane at Corp. Um, whenever you've got an Assault, you should use it for sure. And then for Ultimates, um, I would definitely not recommend using Guthix's Blessing because the Corp can actually kill your Butterfly. Uh, so that wouldn't be good. Uh, so as an Ultimate, I would strongly recommend, if you're using Melee, the Pulverize ability because it hits a large amount, usually between four to 5,000 on the Corp. And then it also uh, reduces the damage the corp does to you for the next 25 seconds. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, the Dark Energy Core has spawned. So now what I'm doing is I'm just running between two squares. And as you can see, the corp is kind of running around all over the place. This is actually a glitch, and it should be patched at some point. But pretty much Jagex recently updated the, um, the amount of sort of ticks or amount of clicks you can make registered in a set amount of time. And that's sort of making the corp go a little crazy when you're dodging the core. But yeah, hopefully that gets patched soon, but it's not much of a problem. So as you can see, I'm just running between two squares. I am popping off one ability each um, each time I uh, switch places, and that should make it so you're not getting hit at all. The reason I'm getting hit every so often by the core, and those are those big red splats, uh, that's just recorder lag. So I'm kind of lagging a little bit with my recorder on. That won't happen to you, so you should be able to dodge it completely. Uh, as you can see, I'm continuously, or as continuously as possible, I'm de redeploying my Dreadnip. Once again, the Dreadnip doesn't hit that much, so it's not that important. And right at the end of the kill, the Corp went kind of derpy again. But that is pretty much the kill, so yeah. yeah. Okay, and here is the range kill. I've sped it up a little more because it's very similar to the melee kill. Except you'll see by the end why I actually don't recommend using the range kill. Pretty much the problem is you just don't hit enough actual DPS. <laughs> um, you don't take nearly as much damage, but you don't hit very much either, and that is problematic. So yeah, I'm using the Death Lotus Starts, and yeah, <laughs> bad bad things happen later on. And I actually got really lucky to get the kill. I was wearing a Sign of Life, and I actually died, got resurrected, and then finished the kill with about 2,000 hit points left. So yeah, it was it was pretty tight, <laughs> and that's with Rocktail Soup as well. 
So obviously, if you're really good with your uh, ranged action bar, which I'm not great with mine, if you're really great with yours, you should be okay to do kills like this, but I, I really wouldn't recommend it, because also the food like is 7k each. So yeah, there's that too, as, as a factor. The other issue I was having is one of the abilities, I think it was my A ability, um, actually has an animation that has a delay. So you'll see, like, I'll click it, and then I'll jump around, and then I'll jump back, and it was really confusing for me, because you're trying to dodge the core, but you wouldn't move, so I'd keep clicking too many times, and then, yeah, it just wasn't great. So, yeah, you'll see in a second, I get resurrected. Wait for it. Right about here. Yeah, so I got resurrected, and then I got the kill. So, yeah, that is it, and I'm going to move on to the loot. Uh, now into the rewards, why would you want to solo the Corp Beast? Uh, first and foremost, the Ancient Sigils, which are priced between 3 and 53 mil apiece. So they're extremely rare, but they're extremely good. Um, you can sell them for quite a bit. Next you've got Charms, the Corporal Beast drops 13 Charms at a time, and lots of blues and lots of crimson, so if you're trying to get your summoning up, this is a great boss to kill. Uh, next you can get a 2000 Cannonball drop, 175 Onyx Bolts E, and also the Holy Elixir, and all of those are worth between 800k and 1.5 mil. Uh, these prices are as of the 1st of May 2014. Okay, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below, and I check them pretty much every day. Uh, so, good luck killing the corp, and feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Peace. Holy fuck! Onyx bolts again. Ooh, yeah! Thanks.